Hello everyone, this is Lakshman. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's session, I am going to explain how to become a full stack automation testing engineer in 2021. So most of the companies will be looking for who have multiple skills in testing. So in upcoming years, most demand job uh, for testing automation testing engineer is full stack QA engineer. So there is no doubt in that. Okay, so you must be a multiple skills testing engineer to get job and to uh, to get more package in upcoming years then what are the skills needed to become a full stack automation testing engineer you must follow this process okay first you have to uh, know you have to learn the basic software testing concepts that is nothing but manual testing so without knowing manual testing basic concepts you cannot become a full stack automation qa engineer okay you should know the basic concepts like why software testing is required okay and then uh, what is regression testing what is the sanity testing smoke testing okay uh, you have to learn uh, what is testing strategies okay what are the testing methodologies what is the boundary value analysis okay what are the different types of testing so you have to learn each and everything basic concept for software testing. So that is must to uh, to learn another concepts. So after that, after getting knowledge on manual testing, you must start learning any programming uh, knowledge, any programming experience is required. For automation test engineer, uh, you must be you know any one programming language. Otherwise, you cannot survive in IT industry. This so is particularly for automation testing engineer okay so either you take java or python or javascript okay so most preferably java and python and also javascript okay okay so after learning after become mastering any programming language then you must learn one ua automation tool either it is selenium or protector so i highly recommend you to learn selenium uh, is the best uh, to survive in the IT industry and to get job as well because nowadays uh, most demanding uh, automation tool is selenium okay so after learning any ua automation tool then you have to learn one api testing tool okay that is nothing but rest, rest assured or postman or soap ua you have to learn anyone no need to learn all these things okay you have to learn either rest assured or postman or soap ua after learning one thing if you if you learn postman then after gaining experience after getting experience you learn soap ua again so keep on learning only uh, you can survive in it industry you have to upgrade your skills based on the it market then only you can become uh, then only you can survive in it industry if you stick with one technology then you, you cannot get promotions and you cannot bet uh, high package okay even you cannot uh, survive in night industry so you just remember that point so after learning api testing then you have to learn one mobile testing tool as well so i highly recommended apm okay so after learning mobile testing you have to learn one performance testing uh, like j meter or load runner okay so after that you must be some knowledge on database testing tool like sql okay and then some security testing tools okay and then so my highly strong recommended um, ci cd tool is jenkins okay you must be learn jenkins so i will upload one video uh, about how jenkins uh, used as a software test engineer in upcoming videos okay and then you must be strong in uh, agile and scrum uh, project methodology process so without knowing agile methodology uh, you cannot become a, a good automation test engineer okay so you must know agile or scrum methodology uh, project methodology okay so after that one you should have some basics of html and css that is additional skills okay so you have to learn multiple skills okay why uh, multiple skills required suppose uh, some x project came for some x com y company so they are starting their project with the automation testing tool okay so they recruit the automation testing engineer so after after completion of automation testing they will uh, again want some api testing 
experienced candidate. Again, they will recruit the AP testing candidate. After completion of AP testing uh, concept, again they will uh, test the mobile testing. The, the project supports a mobile uh, device also. Then mobile testing who have knowledge on mobile testing experience they has they have to recruit mobile testing uh, engineers okay so again performance testing engineers so you have to recruit for each and every testing individual candidates so instead of recruiting for each individual uh, jobs if we have multiple skills then they will prefer only who have knowledge on, on multiple skills. They will hire those candidates. So that is the reason in upcoming years, so who have multiple skills, that is nothing but full stack, end-to-end -end testing. Okay, full stack QA engineers will give more prefer in 2020 and upcoming years, 21, 22, 23, it may be anyone. Okay, if you know only this, selenium testing tool then you may not got job immediately and you may not got you may not get high package what you are expecting so if you know all these testing tools then you must become a uh, testing architect as well in future if you want to become a testing architect then you should know all these things but i am not recommended uh, for freshers these type of skills as a beginner as a fresher if you know only one uh, programming knowledge and one automation tool that is enough but after joining any company you have to keep on learning that is the your key point who are keep on learning the latest technologies whatever available in the IT market those candidates will get high package and they, those candidates will become will will survive in IT industry. Okay, that is uh, that the thing you must remember. The point you must remember. Okay, so to become a full stack automation testing unit, these skills is enough. You have to learn either one, not all the uh, tools. Okay, you have to learn a, either Selenium or Proctor or Rest Assured or Postman or SOAP AI. So mobile testing is this is very popular. APM. Okay. Jmeter, load runner, performance testing and database testing, some knowledge is required for full, full stack QA engineering. Okay. And Jenkins as a scrum and some basics of HTML and CSS. These things are enough for QA automation testing. Isn't it? I hope you understand uh, what the skills required to become a full stack QA engineer. But um, as a beginner, you no need to learn all the skills. So yeah, as a beginner, you, you must know one programming and one UI automation tool. That's enough to get into IT company. Okay. So I hope you enjoy this video. So if you really like this video, please share it to your uh, friends also. And also hit the like button. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.